Hello, Internet! Why, yes, I'm wearing all black today. Feeling very dramatic, very dark and brooding. Maybe it's all this GD sunshine! Yeah, I haven't uploaded in two weeks. Feel very crummy about that. I had some video projects to attend to. Sorry. But we can't feel crummy about that, no, because it is celebration time! Because here in Indiana, the Rainbow Coalition has been liberated! That's right, the ban on gay marriage has been struck down by the Supreme Court. Craig Bowen and Jake Miller became the first gay couple in Indiana to be joined in holy matrimony after the ban was overturned. <laughs> Like, there are not a lot of reasons to be proud of being from this state, but this week I am prouder than ever. And to make matters even better, in the same day, Utah also struck down their ban. Utah! Of all states, man! <laughs> so, looking at a map of the U.S., that brings us to... That was my drum roll. So, looking at a map of the U.S., that brings us to 19 states where same-sex marriage is legal, 12 where the ban has been struck down and in appeals, 18 where the ban has been challenged, and only one left where it is still outright banned. I'm looking at you, North Dakota. Come on, get on our level! Even Texas has its ban in appeals. Recently, I went to my very first Pride Parade with my friend Cam and a couple of our other friends. It was absolutely wonderful. First of all, Indianapolis is a very beautiful city if you've never been. It's got all the hustle and bustle of a very big city, with very little of the dirt and crime, but still just enough to keep it interesting, you know? Just the energy of the festival was enough to draw a person in and make them feel surrounded by love and acceptance, and I thought that was beautiful. You know, you were constantly surrounded by people who had a common cause. People who wanted to see the world changed by love. People who wanted to see other people motivated by togetherness. It was very, very calming and very liberating. We walked around and viewed the wildlife, so to speak. There were a lot of dogs, and I found myself wondering why there were a lot of dogs, and then finally it clicked in my head and I felt like a big idiot. There was a pit bull kissing booth, which was nothing short of absolutely necessary. In the middle of the afternoon, we stretched out on a hill and took a nap in the sun like a couple of lizards, and it was one of the most relaxing experiences I've ever had. Also, the, uh, Indianapolis men's chorus was in the parade and they were handing out um, fans with B. Arthur's name and face on them. I'm literally going to keep this the rest of my life. This is one of those things that I could have never dreamt up and asked for but I've always wanted somewhere deep in the recesses of my heart. We love you, B. And then a few weeks later, the state takes a huge step towards legalizing same-sex marriage. And I mean proper legal too, like California and Connecticut. When I was in middle school, they used to teach us about the civil rights movement. You know, Martin Luther King and Medgar Evers. And I was worried that I would never see big changes like that in my life. I was worried that the only thing that was left to do was to make sure that same-sex couples could marry and have families, but the way the social thermometer was, I was worried that I would never see it. You know, everyone was afraid of gay people and what they could do to the American dream or the American family or whatever name you wanted to put on it. Everyone seemed threatened by it. And I just thought it was silly because how could loving someone, how could it be so bad? What are you so afraid of? But it's happening everywhere now. Here, in Utah, and who knows? I got some discouraging news this morning. You know, only two days after it happened, there's a stay on the overturn. They're gonna stop issuing marriage licenses on Monday until they hear more from the court. It might not happen now. It might go back to being banned. But for right now, I think we can count it as a win until we get knocked two steps backwards. 
Of course, now that I'm older, the middle school me reading that textbook has been awakened to other causes in the world. Seeing all the progress that the LBGTQIA community has made in just a decade since I read that textbook, it's made me hopeful for other causes. Things like women's rights, children's rights, you know, things that I wasn't aware of then. It's the stuff you don't think about when they're teaching you about Martin Luther King Jr., which is stuff that will always be important, but it's no longer the fight that's being fought. You have to be aware of the fight that's being fought in the here and now, so you can be a part of it. The internet has made it very easy to sign an electronic petition and then move on, but there's so much more you can do. Educate yourself. Read up on your state's laws. Know your rights. Empower yourself to be part of what's going on. You know that important but often misquoted statement, be a part of the change you wish to see in the world? No matter who said it, it's still important. Do what you can, help who you can, be a part of the change. Okay, I'm going to step down off my soapbox now. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Tumblr, links below in the description. Thanks for watching and have a good day. And also, if you're ever on the way home and you suddenly find yourself in traffic, be advised that there is never a wrong time for a karaoke session. Guess what? So is my money. All I want you to find me. Give it to me when you get home. Hey, baby, when you get home. R E S P C T. Find out what it means to me. R E S P C T. Take care to C T. Truth.